What's up guys, Parker here. In this video, I'm gonna show off the new fuzzy matching functionality that was just released in Power BI Desktop. This allows you to merge tables based on data that kind of matches between the two tables. It's a really cool trick, so let's get started. Jumping over to Power BI Desktop, let's perform our first fuzzy merge. So you're looking at the two tables of data I have here that I wanna to merge together. Firstly, this dim table has the names of our salesmen correctly typed, so Parker, Jim, and Kevin, and their status, gold, silver, and bronze. And our other table is our fact table, and has all of the sales recorded by these salesmen and their sales totals. But you can see as you go down the table, some of these names are mistyped. Um, it's very possible that you'll have misentered data, uh, and this is going to combat this by enabling us to merge these two tables based on names that are similar to the names in the two tables. So in order to set up fuzzy merging, we need to go ahead and go to File, Options and Settings, Options, and while this is still in preview since it just came out today, uh, and probably for the next few months you'll probably still have to do this, you go to Preview Features and then Enable Fuzzy Merge. Check that, click OK, and then you can enable these fuzzy merges. So if we go back to the fact table and we try to merge those two tables together, we can do that by going to Home, Merge Queries, and originally you had to merge based on an exact match, but now we see this for, uh, fuzzy merge options down below in this checkbox that says use fuzzy matching to compare the merge. So if we wanted to join our fact table to our dim table and we select our columns we wanna match on, we, all we need to do is select this checkbox to allow us to use fuzzy merging and we can uh, open up the fuzzy merging option. And there are a few options that we can use to really um, optimize this merge. So we can set a threshold to uh, tell how strict we want to be with our fuzzy merging. We can ignore the case. And let's say I had some uh, lowercase names here. They would match with the uppercase names. Same thing with the spaces. So if I had some unnecessary spaces, we could tell Power BI not to include those. Um, we can have a maximum number of matches or a transformation table, which I'll show you in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and click OK and see which uh, rows were matched. So it is going to return back a table, which we will need to expand. And these are all of the uh, rows that were returned by the fuzzy matching. So the names that were correct, Parker, Jim, and Kevin, as you can see in the dim table, Parker, Jim, and Kevin, were matched correctly. So you can see that they match correctly by showing us the status and the name. And parser was matched correctly because it was only one letter off just like Devin matched with Kevin and Tim matched with Jim. So it was a little bit fuzzy and it was able to recognize that those names were actually close enough and probably were meant to be uh, the same name to match those two tables together. But you can see that it failed in a couple of places, like Percore is a little bit too far off from Parker, so it wasn't able to actually make that match. Just like Jimmy is a little bit too far away from Jim, so it wasn't able to bring us back the data from that dim table. We can go ahead and combat this if we uh, produce a transformation table to basically say, if it is Percore, treat that like Parker, and if that is Jimmy, treat it like Jim. And we can do that by creating a new table. I'll just manually create it, but you could have it in your database or any other data source. Um, so we're gonna call this a transformation table. And we are going to say Percore, should be treated as Parker, and Jimmy should be treated as Jim. And this next step is very important because I haven't found anything that has actually explained this, but your columns specifically have to be from, and the second one I believe needs to be to. I am definitely sure that one of your columns needs to be from, and I think the second one needs to be to. I think these can be switched as well, it could be to from, but go ahead and play around with that and you'll be able to figure it out for yourself. So if we click OK and load this table in, uh, we will now see this transformation table showing how to treat these two names. We can actually go ahead and re, uh, go through this process again and um, specify that transformation table. So we're going to merge these queries again, fact and dim, based on the two name columns. We're going to use fuzzy matching and we're going to set these options. But instead, this time, we're gonna specify this transformation table and go ahead and click OK. And once we expand that table out again, we should see that all of our rows were now matched. And we see that it was able to successfully handle that per core 
uh, and make it Parker and that Jimmy was now able to be specified as Jim. So that's really cool. This adds a lot of flexibility. Uh, personally, I'm working on a project right now where there's a lot of hand type data and there are a lot of errors where names are just so similar but not quite similar enough to be able to make those joins. So now it's gonna be much, much easier to deal with situations like that. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next Power BI tip.